throwing your hands up to him, that's when he is going to step in. Go ahead, everybody, you know he will step in and show up. Come on, throw it in there. Come on, say, take God at his word. So he says, prove me. Yes, sir. Now he will saith the Lord of hosts. Let's read the final sentence together in verse 10. If I, come on, if I would not open you the windows of heaven. Stop right there in that comma. Windows got an S on it. That's plural. Somebody say windows. windows. One of my preachers at Greater Bright Morning Star is a very, very smart brother, Reverend Clifford Williams. You've seen him, big young fellow. Yes. Amen. He's a computer specialist. Been on a job for 28 years and New Orleans at Pan American and now it has gone out of business. And now he had been going through different things and we had been praying, touching and agreeing that God would open the door. The Lord opened the door for him in Fort Worth, Texas. Now he still lives in New Orleans, but he worked in Texas. I'm trying to help somebody. Sometimes when you think the blessing is not it. Somebody should have been ready to shout right there. God's got many ways to bless you if you just open yourself and be sensitive to where the blessing is. I try to teach my children and I'm trying to teach the members in both of these churches that there is life outside of Louisiana. Did y'all know that? Don't let Louisiana be the only place that you let your children see. They got a world outside of Louisiana. Amen. And if you want to grow, you got to go. You got to go. I wish I you got to go to grow in this life. You just can't be stagnated always here. You gotta go. Show your children they got a world outside of Louisiana. Amen. So they can set their goals high. Yes, if you're going to take God at his word, set your goals high. I don't care if you look at your life today and say, I'm not where I want to be at. When I look at my age, Pastor Hayden, I'm not where I want to be at. Guess what? Don't put emphasis on where you are not. Put your emphasis on where you're going. I wish I had some help. Have a vision for your life. Somebody say vision. I told y'all at the beginning of the year, you should have wrote down five goals that you believe in God to do in your life and then watch God bring it to pass. Don't look at yourself. Anybody can sit down and feel sorry for themselves and say, I've messed up. I've done this. We all have messed up. We all have sin in the house. I wish I had some help. The past ain't perfect. Ain't nobody perfect in here. We all have messed up. But I can't afford to look at where I am. I got to look at where God is going to take me. But in order for him to take me somewhere, I gotta have a plan. Amen. See, I just can't have wishful thinking. No, sir. Some folk have wishes. They wish they ought to be this. Wishes is in the sky. Yeah. We can't live all wishes. Amen. You gotta have a plan, prepared vision. Yes, sir. That you can look and see where you're going and find out how you're gonna get there. All right. You can't say I wanna own a pizza business and you don't know how much the dough costs. <laughs> You don't know how much the sauce costs. Come on, you don't know how much the rent for your building is. You just can't wish. You got a plan. Tell your lady you got a plan. I ain't up here spitting in the mic just to be spitting in the mic. I'm trying to help somebody up in here. I say you got the plan. If you didn't learn nothing from my message, repeat this after me. Say either you plan to fail or you plan to succeed. Now you got to ask yourself which one of you. Come on, this is our praise in the house. You plan to fail or you plan to succeed. And I love to tell people at my age, I will be 47 if the Lord allows me to see September. I'm too old to hit and miss now. Yes, sir. I'm going to encourage some man in here today. Did y'all hear me? I say I'm too old to hit and miss. That means trial and error. Right. I'm too old to have tried error. I need to know where I'm going. Amen. Because see, let me tell you something. If I fail, All right. then my daughter at 11 and my son at 10, they gonna fail. Right. Cause see, right now they can't take care of themselves. Right. So if we go ahead and fail, that means my children fail. Right. But if I raise them up right and teach them to the age of maturity, they can.
can become successful and they can go on and I can fail and won't affect them. Y'all didn't get that. Didn't put it. You know what I'm saying? At the young age, if I fail, they fail.